Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with FC25 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is for Steam users, disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab. Now over here, select disable Steam input and then check. Still not working, then in that case, you can even try to go to the controller tab, you can try enable steam input and then check for me disabling steam input is working fine so you can try this now it's still not working the next step is for non steam users add ea desktop app to steam and then launch ea app from steam and then launch fc25 now if you don't have steam you can go to steam website and then install steam login and then once steam is open on the bottom left here you can see add a game option click on add a game and then click on add a non steam game now over here click on browse and go to the electronic arts folder so open c drive program files now open electronic arts folder now open ea desktop folder and then scroll down and find ea desktop now once you select ea desktop now click on open once it is added over here now click on add selected programs now once ea desktop app is added over here now you can launch ea desktop app now before this if ea app is open first of all close ea app and then you launch ea desktop app from here and then once ea app is open you can launch the game from ea app and then check now the next step is again for non steam users add fc25 to steam now this time add the game to steam now for this again click on add a game add a non steam game and then click on browse go to the game installation folder so so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive now open program files if you have the game on ea app then open ea games if you have the game on epic games then go to epic games or wherever the game is installed and then open ea sports fc24 select this exe file now click on open now once the game is added over here now click on add selected program and once the game is added to steam now you can launch the game from steam and then you can check the control next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now on steam on the top right here you can see enter big picture mode icon click on enter big picture mode and this will launch steam in big picture mode Now, once Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, it's still not working. The next step is to launch Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. Make sure EA app is closed before you launch the game. So if EA app is open, close EA app and then launch Steam as an administrator. So first of all, close Steam, close both Steam and EA app. So go to steam and then click on exit and then if you have ea app open close the app and then you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator open steam as an administrator and then you can launch the game next step is to now this is for playstation controller user you can install these software like rewasd or maybe ds4 windows install it configure your controller and then check now the next step is to make sure you disconnect all the external devices which you're not using so if you have any extra controller any usb adapter hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have any virtual controller like vjoy then you can dis disable it or uninstall it and then you can launch the game and then check the last step is to use wired controller so if nothing is working you can connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then you can check the controller so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel